हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ संजय उटगे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सिक्वेंशियल लॉजिक सर्किट पार्ट टू लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स will be able to analyze various sequential logic circuits like shift registers and counters outline sequential logic circuit shift registers and their types asynchronous counters question answer synchronous counters references sequential logic circuit part 2 in the earlier session we had a discussion on flip flop which is a one bit memory cell capable of storing one bit of information in this session we will discuss registers and counters in the registers we are going to discuss shift registers universal shift registers shift right right and shift left types counters asynchronous counters and synchronous counters registers the shift register is another type of sequential logic circuit that can be used for the storage or the transfer of binary data this sequential device loads the data present on its inputs and then moves or shifts it to its output once every clock cycle hence the name shift register a shift register basically consists of several single bit d type data latches one for each data bit either logic 0 or 1 connected together in a serial type daisy chain arrangement so that the output from one data latch becomes the input of the next latch and so on data bits may be fed in or out of a shift register serially that is one after the other from either the left or the right direction or all together at the same time in a parallel configuration in summary the register it is a group of flip flops connected one after the another in which data can be shifted from one flip flop uh, to the next that is from right, uh, right side towards left side or from left side towards right side or the data can be uh, entered uh, through all the flip flops uh, once at a time called as parallel loading and can be retrieved uh, at the same time ca called as parallel uh, getting the outputs shift register the number of individual data latches required to make up a single shift register device is usually determined by the number of bits to be stored with the most common being 8 bits one byte wide construct, uh, constructed from 8 individual data latches shift registers are used for the data storage or for the moment of data and are therefore commonly used inside calculators or computers to store data such as two binary numbers before they are added together or to convert the data from either a serial to parallel or parallel to serial format generally the shift register 
operate in one of the four different modes with the serial into parallel out serial SIPO. The register is loaded with the serial data one bit at a time with the stored data being available at the output in parallel form. Serial into serial out SISO. The data is shifted serially in and out of the register one bit at a time in either a left or right direction under clock control. Shift register parallel into serial out. The parallel data is loaded into the register simultaneously and is shifted out of the register serially one bit at a time under clock control. Parallel into parallel out PIPO. The parallel data is loaded simultaneously into the register and transferred together to their respective outputs by the same clock pulse. So parallel in parallel out is the most uh, uh, high speed uh, register uh, because with the same uh, single clock pulse data is been loaded simultaneously into the all flip flops and can be retired uh, at the output side. So that's a which requires us only single clock pulse. So this PIPO that is parallel in parallel out is uh, one of the most high speed a register as compared to uh, three that is SISO, SIPO and PISO. So this is the shift register. Uh, total uh, flip flops use are one, two, three, four capable of storing the four bit of information. So this is uh, D is the serial data input. This is Q is the serial data output. Uh, D A, uh, D0, D1, D2, D3 all these the all these are the parallel data inputs and the parallel data outputs are q0 q1 q2 q3 this is msb and lsb so we can uh, uh, load the data in serial form we can retrieve the data in serial form we can load the data in parallel manner as, as well as we can uh, retrieve the data in the parallel manner also this is the universal shift register in universal shift register uh, with the uh, uh, with the addition of some combination logic circuit which consists of AND gates and OR gates okay this red color AND gates and yellow color OR gate it is possible to convert a simple shift register into universal shift register so with uh, shift is equals to zero uh, this uh, this and gate will get 0, 0, 0, that will be disabled, whereas this, this signal will become 1. This one is given to this B1, B2 and B3. So this uh, all these B1, B2, B3 and gates are enabled. So uh, data B1, B2, B3, uh, pa parallel data is been loaded uh, to all these, uh, three, uh, uh, all these four flip-flops. So with the signal uh, at 0 at shift or oblique load bar, we can uh, load the data in the parallel manner. Whereas with this signal equals to 1, these AND gates are enabled and the data is been shifted from, uh, uh, from FF0 to FF1, FF1 to FF2, FF2 to FF3. Remember, all, the, all these flip-flops are uh, uh, triggered with the same clock pulse. It means that a single clock pulse is, uh, uh, same clock pulse is applied to all the flip-flops. So they are clocked simultaneously. So with this signal, we can uh, with shift uh, with this signal shift uh, oblique load bar zero, the data can be loaded parallelly, and uh, with this signal shift equals to one, the data can be shifted uh, in the serial manner. So with this, we can perform uh, loading operation as well as shifting operation. So here we have taken the shifting operation from right side to left side towards right side right. that is from ff0 to ff1 ff1 to ff2 ff2 to ff3 remember for shifting the data uh, um, one bit at a time towards the right side it will take uh, one clock pulse so shifting a four bit data through all these four flip flops uh, uh, four four clock pulses are required digital counter a counter is a device which stores 
the number of times a particular event or process has occurred often in relation to a clock the most common type is sequential digital logic circuit with an input line called the clock and multiple output lines the values on the output lines represent a number in the binary or bcd number system each pulse applied to the clock input increments or decrements the number in the counter so digital counter is usually constructed of a number of flip flops connected in cascade counters are very widely used component in digital circuits and manufactured as separate in ic and also incorporated as part of large integrated circuits so they are classified as asynchronous or ripple counter and synchronous counter also they for further classified as decade counter up down counter a synchronous counter is a d type flip flop with j and k uh, this circuit can store one bit and hence can store from 0 to 1 before it overflows this counter will increment once for every clock cycle and takes two clock cycles to overflow so every clock cycle it will alternate between transition 0 to 1 1 to 0 output of a previous flip flop is given as a clock input to the next flip flop the result is called as ripple counter so this is a, a two bit asynchronous counter Uh, j and k inputs are permanently connected to uh, logic one level so whenever the clock is present q q will become one the output of uh, one flip flop is given as a clock input to the next flip flop so when the clock is uh, one then only this q uh, this next flip flop will give its output one so at the uh, arrival of uh, every clock pulse this q output of the plus uh, first flip flop will shift from 1 to 0 1 to 0 whereas output of the second flip flop will uh, change only when the previous will fall from 1 to 0 exercise assignment what is meant by asynchronous it is the uh, stands for the absence of a synchronization something that is not existing or occurring at the same time synchronous counter generally refers to something which is coordinated with others based on uh, time synchronous signals occurs uh, at same clock rate and all the clocks flow follows the same in synchronous counter the clock input across the uh, all the flip flops uses the same source and create the same clock signal at the same time this is the uh, timing diagram thank you